Hello everyone and welcome back to Boater Plays Something. We are playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We just saved the miners from a bunch of Tusken Raiders. It was so much easier having someone who is melee with us, so as much as I like HK-47, I don't know how much he'll be a permanent staple of my group. But considering I don't have any repair kits, um, I can't really do much of that right now. Anyway, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Eastern Dune Sea, and then we'll work our way to the Sand People Territory later on. So, yeah, uh, while I'm trekking my way over there, I'll just say I'm Boater, and let's play something. The eastern dune sea continues to a barren horizon, but there are signs that people have passed this way. The occasional stone appears to be marking a path. Ahem. The occasional stone appears to be marking a path, but the logic of how they are placed is indecipherable to an outsider. Okay, so we're gonna go to sand people territory. She's got a just a regular Jedi robe. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's see. That's that. Ooh, dark Jedi knight robe. Look good on her. Ooh, Jedi knight robe. Yeah, that's probably what we'll, what we'll give her. Yes. She starts mouthing off for the dark Jedi shit. All right. So we are infiltrate. Oh, hello. Ah. Uh. Guess who my mind disabler is? The dead droid. Fortunately, I appear to have enough demolitions to get past this for now. To sand people territory. Okay, here we go. Um, I see the th it over there, so I think I'm gonna do a perimeter sweep first. See what else shows up. Do they still use Zerka marker posts on the inside here, whereas this is what they should be warning you off away from. Oh, this extends quite a ways. Okay, what area does this go to? Is this also Eastern Dune Sea? Yeah. Yeah, 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 hush. Oh. Kinda wish I could capture him, but without mission here, it's not happening. I can get HK leveled up, but if I can't get him repaired... I can bang that drum for a little longer. What are you? Oh, you're a floating debris pile. Okay, not nearly as intriguing as you appear. not as important. What do you say, people? Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go wall to wall. I won't disable the mine in front of them. That's a little suspicious. So we'll go wall to wall and continue around the perimeter. Maybe I shouldn't leave my allies into the, the mines either. That would be a little telltale E. I know I've got Bantha fodder for him, but until I need to do something with Banthas, I'm just going to leave it. What's this? Just decoration, okay. Twilight Corpse. Oh boy. Uh, thermal detonator. Well, that'll be useful. Uh, 
Okay, not being sure what we're supposed to do here. We're gonna do another save and head on in. Nice getting a little bit of ground vibration from the uh, Banthas walking around. Another corpse. Flex support pack. Handy. Not a repair kit though. <laughs> Corpse. You mean to tell me they haven't picked over these corpses in front here? Oop, did I? Did I? Never mind. I want to talk to this. Whenever I end up talking to Bastel after the How answer in advance, I wanted to speak yes, to me? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. So is it true that you killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. But killing Revan is what you're famous for. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. So Malak did your job for you. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Even though we've mowed down how many Revan Sith along the way. Once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. A little bit of disconnect they here. demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Okay. Heading on in then. Same people on play. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm going to need HK for this because translator droid. Um, okay. Um, yes. Can I switch out T3 for HK in here? Or do I need to go, like, back to Anchorhead or something? Um. Not do party selection there. Oh. Can I do so in Tuscan Raider ser t uh, territory? I want to know what they actually call themselves. I, uh, sand people might work, like people of the sand. Tuscan Raider is likely not what they call themselves as a society or as a species. Party selection. Remove, add. And he's still injured because fan frickin' tastic. Yes. Acknowledgement. Yes. Okay. Well, here we go. Hopefully, this doesn't go poorly because my translator will be the first one knocked out. The Sand People War has obviously recognized you and is astounded you are here. The disguise may have allowed you to pass the turrets outside, but is ineffective at close range. Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Uh, quickly, tell him we're not. Tell him we're not a threat. Translation. <laughs> It would be great if your face was in frame. Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not, not common among outsiders. Apologize for being here. Say that we want peace. Translation. Translation. 
position. He is expressing disbelief. As am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. Okay. <laughs> Though you can't seem to understand the sentient the chieftain's tone is obviously great despises all outsiders. Meanwhile, they stripped me, but that's fair. Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. So why are you able to speak with the sand people when I can't? Extrapolation. I understand that you are Force-sensitive, Master, but I lack sufficient knowledge to make an accurate assumption. Hypothesis. Perhaps your ability does not take the place of actual language study when the subject is out of the ordinary. Or perhaps the Sand People confuse your ability because they actively refuse to communicate with most outsiders. I have no data on this, sadly. Sadly. Well, tell me one a peaceful solution. Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? Offer more hundred credits. Ask him what it is that he wants. Translation. Well, notice he translates, and then he just speaks English because it doesn't he go back and forth. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation: He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Reduce? The attacks must stop altogether. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that will never happen, Master. Ignorant outsiders continually desecrate their most reverential customs. This will always demand a response. An attitude I can respect. Protocol. From his perspective, a reduction is already a large step. It is doubtful I know you you're get injured, a but stand up. agreement on much more than that. Tell me we'll get his vaporators. Translation. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the vaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Okay. Well, I can put my clothes back on. And maybe find a repair kit along the way. Oh my god. So are we outside the Enclave or outside the territory altogether? Because, honestly, I need to get back to Anchorhead. If you could just plop me into Circa offices, that would be astounding. But no, it can't be that easy. How does she look with that? Ooh, that contrasts with my red pretty nice. Master? Yeah, we're sure. gonna go with that. Let's see where that pride gets you, lady. Okay, well, if this were a Law and Order Tatooine episode, we would chung chung over there, but as it is, we're just gonna kind of... Okay, uh, and we are here, so I guess we're gonna talk Greetings to the protocol again from the officer. officer. Wanna ask about our agreement? Yes, we're... S we don't have any new information, and I would remind you that you did... A there might be a non-violent solution to this? I should remind you that you were not retained as a diplomatic representative. You are a hunter, and should go after your prey as we agreed. You are not authorized to do anything other than deliver what was promised. Do so, and don't talk of this foolishness again. Then I have to go. Goodbye. Farewell. 
Zerka Corporation welcomes your future inquiries. Yeah, shut up. Obviously, you didn't welcome it. You! Do you have vaporators? Do you have any moisture vaporators? To exchange with sand people in order to stop their attacks. <laughs> Is there any way that you can be persuaded to lower the price since it's coming at the benefit of... Uh, Less attacks, fewer attacks on your potential customers. It's circus cost, not yours. Who cares about their money? Yeah, keep saying that nice and loud. 200 sounds great to me. Okay, head back out, and then I'm going to do a game six secondary save, and I'm going to check the merchant in um, the docking bay, because he may have repair kits, I hope. Um, and in looking, I did a little bit of research, hoping that I could find that. I did not. I did see that there were some more side quests around the place, like someone who wants me to sell a raid plate. You need to do so in the hunting lodge, so... <laughs> no. Oh. Save. Game 6. Yes. To the docking bay. I like that there's a bit of a map break here, even though the docking bay is a really small map. It gives you the impression that... Well, I mean, the impression is that you're just going straight into the docking bay, but it does state spaceport first. So, theoretically, there's just stuff that you're not walking through that is other parts of the spaceport before you pop into here. It just doesn't need to be in gameplay. Theoretically, we will kind of go with that. <laughs> Uh, just show me what you have for sale. Med kits, med packs. Ah. Damn it. Some ships I fix, business is up a little. Yeah, that was useless. Why does nobody sell repair kits on this entire- There is a droid shop! Why would you not sell repair kits for your droids that you sell? Ah! So I have to deal with looking at this the entire time I'm hearing from HK. Alright, there was one side mission that I did see that I'd like to pick up along the way, then we'll head back to the Enclave and then we'll call it an episode. So we'll just make our way over there. Excuse me. We'll just ask people, where can I find a repair kit around here? Like, when games get that natural language thing down. You there, of your kind. Uh, could you be clear? I'm having trouble understanding you. Statement. It is doubtful he can be clear. Their language is difficult even for droids. He is using a trade language to try and help. Oh, he's adorable, though. 
And why wouldn't I understand your true language? Okay. So, what is it that you want? You got a part of your back there. Do you mean the sand people? Okay. I like how it talks so fast that it assumes this is how much would need to be vocalized to say this amount. But then in the sound file, there's dead space at the end, so you have time to read the subtitles. So Aziz, what do you want me to do? Tell me about those that came before. It could be that this Jawa knows things about this planet's history that the Republic has no inkling of. Uh, a few more questions, all right? I'm looking for something called a star map. Can you help? Easy. Oh, I even heard that in there. Because how many Jawas are you going to talk to? You'll tell me after I help you. What should I believe this? It does seem convenient. Warning. More likely the deceiving little organic hopes to trick you into... Uh, I'll check it out when we leave the city then. Goodbye. If he gives us extra payment besides, great. If not, hmm? oh. then Good hunting out there. we'll just take the map to the star map. So I wonder how it's supposed to, how if there's if I would have run into him like afterwards, like how would I have gotten to the star map without him? Maybe something from the chieftain. And hopefully I can be like, hey, before I give you the vaporators, release the Jawas. Anyway, teleport. Okay. We have teleported. And we're back at the Enclave. We should just be able to wander freely now. Did not keep our previous chart of mine locations. Interesting. All right, do we do we talk to you? Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Shall I kill him now, Master? Uh, tell him that we have the moisture evaporators. Translation. Translation. Oh no! Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Matt. He wonders if we have brought them. Moisture evaporators. Tell him that we have his evaporators. Translation. Translation. He does.
does not trust you, Master. But you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack. And he grants you his chieftain's gaff fee as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave. But be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. I have a few questions for him. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful. Ask about the star map. Translation. Translation. He says that what you seek is far from here in the Eastern Dune Sea. He will give you a map so you can find your way. Translation. His people found it but didn't scavenge it because a crate dragon took up residence in the excavation. Crate dragon? What is that? How do I pass it? Translation. Translation. Your ignorance isn't his concern. He claims there is a hunter that wanders the area sometimes and that you should ask him. Translation. The hunter is a Twi'lek. He will be in the eastern dune sea somewhere. Uh, I'd like information on sand people culture. Protocol. This will be a very sensitive topic. Tell me the history of your clan. Translation. Translation. He said... Ask if we can meet the storyteller. Translation. Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly out of ignorance. Translation. To speak them in error is a black... Is there a way that I could prove I'm a worthy warrior? Translation. Translation. He doesn't know, Master. His people usually kill outsiders, since you are an outsider yourself. That would not suffice. Translation. The greatest challenge for a warrior is to face a great dragon, the largest predator on tattoo. Fight one of those and bring back a dragon pearl. Disgust. I think he's making fun of you, Master. He doesn't believe it. an outsider could do such a thing. Tell him farewell for now. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. Okay, um, a small map, yeah, we're gonna look around the Enclave a little bit, okay, yeah, that seems, that seems fair, um, uh, what have we got, we've got the entrance there, Chieftain's room, selecting any of their containers again could prove disastrous, yeah, that's fair. Um, let's see, let's see if I can find disease. Rag pile? No, it's, if it's something I'm gonna rummage through, then don't bother. Ah! Female sand people, okay. We're animals, we slaughter the animals, the women and the men. Refuse pile. Well, if it's refuse. Damn it. Repair parts, repair parts, repair parts. That's all I want. Skeleton corpse, good. The old city new. If I let you out, this whole place will turn on me. I believe so later, I need to make sure it's safe first. 
patrimonio con un anno un libro o con il un anguillo chi è il capo Okay, I'll talk to the chieftain again and see that now that I've talked about them, see if I can ask about it. <laughs> like a pocky grub seed. Query, what do Ask about the captives. Clarification. We must be... Ask about setting the captive Jawas free. Translation. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Tell him farewell for now. Translation. Translation. Nice. Okay. Talking gets you everything. You of the people under Aziz. Same people said that you can go. Run to Anchorhead. And that is going to do it for us. Next episode, I'll skip ahead to Anchorhead and talk to Aziz. We'll give us some sort of a reward, probably pointing us to the same crate dragon guarding the map to the star map or whatever's going on. This was a long episode and I do apologize. It just got a little run around E. So, while we go through the loading screen, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow me, uh, you can subscribe down below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.com slash Boaterbug. Support me on Patreon.com slash Boaterbug and watch live at Twitch.tv slash Boaterbug. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good one and may the force be with you.